So when looking at this question, you would think to do the double angle formulae. So expand out sine 2x, expand out cos 2x. That can work. You can do it that way. There's a slightly easier way, though, and that's to consider the identity sine 2a, which is equal to 2 sine a cos a. So this is quite similar to what we have here. The difference is that a is equal to 2x. So if we let a equals to 2x, this becomes sine 4x is equal to 2 sine 2x cos 2x. Divide both sides by 2. And now our right-hand side, sine 2x cos 2x, is exactly what we have over here. So then our integral will then become a half of sine 4x. And now we can integrate this. So cos 4x will differentiate to make sine 4x. So we know that our solution will be of the form of cos 4x. But we need to think about what constant do we need to have in front so that when this differentiates, we will end up with a half coming out. So well, what does cos 4x differentiate to as it is? This will be minus 4 sine 4x. Again, we want a half to come out. So if we were to multiply this by minus an eighth, that will carry through with the differential. Minus an eighth times minus 4 will give you a half, which is what we want. And therefore, in front of this cos 4x, we should have minus an eighth, plus c, and that will be our final answer.